She uh, blesses everyone that she comes in contact with. She's so spiritual. She wants to pray for you if you're having a bad day. She always wants to start off um, our day with a devotion and she wants to lead music. She wants to lead hymns and worship each morning, which makes the day start just perfect. Like it's a perfect way to start your day. I think she has a few middle names, and I know that she always shares one of them as Songbird. And I just think that, I don't know, she embraces that, and um, it just, I don't know if it helps her be more, more musical, or if, or if, you know, she's more musical um, and just embraces that more, but she'll often say, I'm a songbird, and she knows all the birds, too. Whenever out in nature, oh, I hear a finch, oh, I hear a chickadee, she, she's just, yeah. So she loves music, she loves all the kinds of stuff like that. Lynette is her name, and that's a songbird, yeah. My mom called her Gail Lynette Emanuela. Three names. Yes. <laughs> um, which means like the songbird and then also God with us. That's all. That's all I have. And a hermit cow. And a hummingbird, that's it. <laughs> And a fit. And a ukulele. And a fit. That's all I have. <laughs> and my voice. That's, my, that's all that I have, my voice. At the time then, she was in a foster home. Um, the social worker brought her over the ferry to our side. And um, yeah, that's how we met her. She was in a little cuddle seat. She couldn't say much or do much. She was just in this little cuddle seat most of the time, and that was my first impression of Gail. They said she wouldn't live very long, and they didn't want Mum to adopt someone that would go through a death while the child was yeah, in their teens or something. But as you well know, Gail's still alive, and my mom passed away nine years ago. Bit by bit, she um, learned to walk unaided, because first she used a walker. Uh, she learned to talk, she learned to sing, she learned to love uh, going to church with us, and she just became who she is today. Well, I'm loved. Uh, I'm loved because they, they don't know Jesus Christ as a Savior. They don't know Jesus. So You help spread that word, right? I help and spread the word out to Jesus Christ. So they know that Jesus is the Messiah, Yahshua Mashiach that Jesus in Hebrew, so. I think that's part of what healed her, her love for God, his love for her, and the, the thing is she just went all out in serving God, even though, you know, other people might have looked at her and said, well, you can't do much, but she could love on people, and she, most of all, she could love on God. I've had the experience of watching Gail in action, and she is a wonderful woman of God, both through her worship and through her prayer. Uh, recently, I went through some serious uh, surgery, and I remember being prayed for at Circle of Friends that week, and Gail just praying God's power down upon me and in just a very powerful way, and uh, her prayer and the prayers of others really allowed me, just blanketed me with peace. So when I went in for that surgery, I, I totally felt at peace, and I just remember thinking back to to Gail's prayer especially. She's very in tune to the Holy Spirit. Yeah, she and really is. It changes the atmosphere in the room for good. It's great. Yeah, and That's we really get her to pray a lot because things happen when Gail prays. Situation that comes my way, I just, I just like to worship him. 
We always thought it was a beautiful story. And you know, it not only brought healing to Gail, but it brought healing to my mother when she was in a very difficult situation. Yeah, yeah it's just having the joy of Gail with her is what really brought uh, healing to my mother, but both not to only my mother, but to Gail also. They needed each other. Mm-hmm.